And we're live. We're live. Okay. We're here, Heather and Jeremy again. Take three. Big Mountain and Daryl and Chris, the dual champions. Sometimes you guys win separate. A lot of times you guys win together. Plan it that way. Yeah, plan it or, or luck. Plan it. Yeah, yeah, something like totally that. Totally plan it. You're scheming you all like week about the cross country stages. We're like, we're gonna slay this enduro. We like to keep it modest, so we try not to do it all the time. <laughs> you know, we don't want our heads to get too big. You gotta let other people win too. Right, a couple, other couples step up, yeah. No, but seriously, like, I'm super stoked. Like, I really want, like, the BMEs, I was, I, like, fell in love with this race format last year, a couple of the races, and I'm really happy to, to win one this weekend, so I'm, I'm super happy. Nice. Where did it happen out there today? I mean, both of you, I want to hear both of you. What, what, I, I, uh, or this so weekend, I, I, I had say. good, like, pretty solid, like, first and second stages yesterday, and then, um, and then, Really made some time on three yesterday, which had you know had, had a lot of pedaling, had too much pedaling actually. I would, I'll, I'll even admit that as an XC guy. But then four today was my favorite stage of the whole weekend. It was just like sweet, awesome trail, like good flow, you know, narrow eight-inch single track, ripping through wildflowers, and then I ended up unfortunately like won that one this morning, and then just uh, you know kept it steady and a little conservative this afternoon on the last two, and yeah, ended up with the win. So I'm, I'm pumped. Can't wait for Keystone next weekend. Did the wind, there's like a little squall that moved through. Did that wind mess you up on these jumps down yes, here this it afternoon? Was so sketchy. Like the last time down that big tabletop, like I'm like coming into it, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. And I got blown a little offline, but it took it kind of, you know, not not full commitment. And yeah, it was a little. It didn't really bother me because I'm so naive about jumping still that I was just like, yay! So I think I just got super lucky because it was definitely really windy when I came down. Were you and saying yay off of every jump? Almost, yeah. I think I faced that and I was like, Whoa. He actually texted me right from my run. I heard my phone ding in my pocket and he was kind of like, hey, be careful of the wind. And I just got this sense that it wasn't something I wanted to look at, so I left it in my pocket. And then I got down, he's like, did you do it? And did you like chill out? And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, I think it's probably good. But it sounds like it was pretty sketchy out there, so. I need to probably pay better attention. The flags, I didn't know that. The flags, they're look at there the flags. for the wind. I thought You've got the pure tailwind, it's good. <laughs> they're this like point. Yeah, um, two niners, 26ers? 26 this weekend, Remedy 2-6, yeah. yep. So. Both, both on 26. Both on 26. 2-9, we'll see, maybe debut those. For now, the two nine, the we have the fuel yet. We just got, a, we only just got it two weeks ago, and it's one twenty. One twenty. So, actually, I think it would have been a really good bike out good. here, but we came yeah. with one bike for both Keystone and Crested Butte, and I think Keystone's going to be a little too rowdy for the one twenty bike. So, for now, the remedies. Yeah. Well, I had to ask because Ross was on a twenty nine this weekend yeah. instead of a twenty six like the, Angel. He was on the remedy, remedy. two nine, which I don't which have one don't yet. Have so, one. like, but that, but it's a great. It would have been a great bike this weekend, obviously. It was so because he did well, yeah. but you did better on a 26. I did you know Ross had the edge taken off of him? I think in the first day, like he was coming off of a pretty gnarly stomach flu. So I think that you know, he, he definitely race, so he he that's a lot fast. for him. He's kind of skinny, yeah. yeah so he, uh, he he wasn't on his complete A game for sure. Yeah. Did you guys were on your A game? I was like, you know, pretty good. But clean runs, like, clean runs, yeah. you know, like flying Putting off the other course. Six clean runs I flew off the course once, but it like it was a weird fly off, hop that con kind of. <laughs> like I took a stroll through the wildflowers on stage three. And, uh, the wildflowers are pretty. Yeah, they're very, they're uh, polar. They're like pulling in. <laughs> uh, obviously, you guys going to Keystone next. Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited. I, it sounds like all the stages are going to be long there, which is like for me, given the enduros that I've raced so far, like for me, like length is better even than more pedaling. Like I'd rather do a stage that was all downhill, that's 20 minutes, than a five minute one that has a bunch of pedaling. So just that endurance of like getting through, like a, you know, keeping it together for 15, 20 minutes. I think those they should be pretty good stages for me, and you know, with it being an a at like a lot of the top guys are coming in. So I'm really looking forward to it. That's right. North America yeah. series. Yeah. Also, I think it'll be really challenging. It sounds like they're going to pack in long stages and a lot of them. A lot of them, yeah. And like doing three stages a day here at like five to 13 minutes or whatever. That was exhausting. It's going to be a lot of riding so, over two days. I think Good. people come on glue kind of. Yeah. Are you guys going to go back to the stick house or are you just going to kick it in the Airstream over to Stay Kingston? In Airstream. Living in there. Keep living the dream in the Airstream right now. We so, actually just yeah. made it. We're going to go five days with nothing. No, like, well, we had one water fill. So we've been going off of one tank or battery. We're, up, we're in the boonies. So we've been taking, like, crazy fast showers and 
or not shower. Or not shower. You skipped a couple. I may be a little dirty. Maybe tonight we'll reward ourselves with a, a post-race shower. <laughs> Sweet. So we're like, we really are like, totally, you know, vomiting now. I don't think you can see bumming it in the It's pretty, it's pretty luxurious. Okay, don't so, let her fool you. It's still clamping. It's, it's still it's, clamping. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you guys want to say? No, no man, just uh, awesome weekend of riding in Crested Butte. This is where I, like, one of the places I grew up racing, and so good to be back. This is Colorado. And these events know, have been just yeah. incredible, and I, I just recommend anyone. There's, yeah. there's been a couple guys out there with Martails even this weekend. It's totally, like, just worth it just to come out and be here. It's just fun. So, yeah. Thanks, guys.